Hi, this is Jackie. This is Diana. And this is Home Bodies Only, where we welcome all bodies to listen as we break down this today's episode is going to be Scenes from a Marriage, Scene Four, The Illiterates. All right. So it starts <sighs> off in the car and yes. She's Jessica at this point mm-hmm. because she's driving onto the set. We can tell it's a set, but it is outside, um, not a soundstage. And she looks like she almost like she has a script, maybe. Yeah, it looked like she was or reviewing her script for yeah. today's scene. Mm-hmm. And uh, she then they when they start, uh, she's on the phone with Ava. Ava is worried about a doll. Um, and she's talking about it being in a box. Mm-hmm. She is wearing a long black leather. I think it's a trench. She has a black bag and an umbrella. She gets in the house. We see now boxes everywhere. Yes. So they are moving. She's wearing an oatmeal colored sweater with the thumb holes. And I love me some thumb holes. Oh, I don't have love enough a good thumb hole? Thumb I mean, holes. I was like, oh, I coziness. Jealous. I could feel it on my palms. Yes. I was like, yes. I need some of those very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, again, it was a sweater dress, but it was not. Yes. It was a belted skirt. People, I was looking all over that internet. Or no, I can't even talk. Internet today. <laughs> I was Googling it all over the Trying place. Trying to find I it. I don't know. I don't know what brand it is. It's driving me a little crazy. It was another beautiful outfit. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't think I ever saw her shoes. Did you? Um, you know, I didn't. I don't. Uh, well, we perhaps get a glimpse, but it wasn't boots. They were shoes and they were not emphasized. Yes, I'm sorry. They mm-hmm. were shoes. They mm-hmm. were pumps. They were the same yeah. as I called. Yes, she was all nude. In one color. Yes. I'm going to make a. Th- I have a theory about that mm-hmm. a little later. I'll, I'll say what my theory is. Um, yes. Uh, so. She is complimenting Ava the way she packed her toys because I think she looked at the boxes. Jonathan's on the phone with someone as well, and um, Mira is wearing red lipstick. Oh yeah, pretty dark and some an eyeshadow you can t- see. She had now her dark ta- nails too going. Yep, she had her dark nails going. Um, then Mira is talking to someone who must be watching Ava, and she said, "No, she's happy. She, she's happy that uh, Ava's expressing her anger." So. Now, Jonathan, he's dressed a little younger to me. She mm-hmm. had, he has on jeans. He has on like a button down, almost yep. like flannel. It's not plaid, but like it's thicker with, I think, a sweatshirt underneath. Um, then I said less professor, professor and more casual. Definitely. Now, Mira has a headache, so she's looking for something. She's um, always got a headache, huh? Always yeah. looking for the Advil. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and i think I he say, says he has time yeah right she's, well she's, do oh they'll have fine. to do ackerman yeah, you to. know <laughs> that darn ackerman yeah <laughs> wish we could meet ackerman i, I have know. some words for ackerman. ackerman i do too <laughs> oh. oh um they talk about the movers being scheduled that jonathan's taking a flight and he's going to be away for nine days he has he's on panels two panel two in berlin and one in vienna I believe right not venice i think he said vienna. how the tables have turned Mm-hmm. Our traveling. Mira. And then I I said, Mira seems a little upset that maybe he's having some success. Um because she said, Oh, I thought it was for a week. Yeah. And he said, No, it's nine days or something. You can um, tell there and, was definitely a little jealousy there. Mm-hmm. Polly she mentions Polly. Like, really? Polly's and I'm like, Polly, I, like I, 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 I thought we were done with Polly. He's back? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we were done with Polly too. Um so there's a settlement to sign, mm-hmm. divorce settlement. Oh, then they're talking about the green couch. Oh, the green and he, couch. Had, he had stuck, I think he, I think his stickers were yellow. His maybe? stickers and were hers yellow. Were orange. Yes. Yes. It was all color coded. Yes, yes. You would have done that too. Of course. <laughs> you know. Clearly. So he puts the orange sticker over his yellow because she's talking about, it's all also like uh, shrink wrapped or something. I don't know. <laughs> It's, ready it's, for it's those quite movers. noisy. It gets a little noisy It's later. a little noisy. Yeah. Um, the papers, Jonathan calls it a get, which is in, which in Hebrew means divorce papers. Yep. And it's Aramaic for deed. And she says it should be called a give or a give <laughs> up. Yeah. That's funny. 
Jonathan explains the whole ritual or ceremony, if you will. The man's supposed to yell at the woman, we are divorced and you can go be with other men, but she cannot be alone with him ever again. He cannot touch her. Um, and you can tell she's kind of, I feel like she was being a little flirty maybe at that point. She was definitely being a little flirty and you could tell like the forbidden forbiddenness mm -hmm. of making up she my... Forbid words here yes. forbiddenness, forbiddenness. <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah you could tell that that was like something like that was almost like a turn on for her in a way turn on yeah like oh so yep. it's like forbidden that you'll never mm -hmm. be you know and oh mm -hmm. yeah you could totally feel it yeah yeah so he comforts her she she does lean into him mm -hmm. he kind of hugs her yeah little, like this is over her. and that we're coming yeah. to an end here right yep well then he starts <laughs> <Sort of>. yeah <laughs> Starts stroking her leg. Oh, man. Um, All kinds of stroking going on. <laughs> trying to keep this clean, people. Right. Uh, you know, uh, they they start to... Uh, <laughs> I don't even... There's some foreplay going on. Yeah, but no, no, no nudie. No, nope. no nudies. Nope. 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 This was nope. like an under the skirt. Go for it. You know? Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Lots of groping. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and grabbing and yes. squeezing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, boy, that was it was a long was... scene, too. <laughs> it was a long yeah, scene. Yeah, I felt like it went on a long time. It but but it was, time. Well, it was okay. Let's let's make some notes here. Jonathan took over. Mm -hmm. Jonathan was to me very mascul masculine, very in charge. Yeah. You know, very dominant. Um and I and uh, I thought, oh, this probably isn't typical of him. That's what no. I this is like a, a like a rebirth of him or yes. some sort of like new persona new or life. something. <laughs> uh, you know, like I turned over yes. and it, like I'm free and like I, I don't know. Tell you like coming into his yeah. own yeah. rebirth. I don't know. And they're on this cellophane couch, yes. thing covered. <laughs> you can just hear it's it like crinkling. crunching. And I'm sure that was all done on purpose. They probably had mics like yeah. set yeah. up on there mm -hmm. or, or they did, you know, some sound bites. I'm not sure. So then she doesn't want him to get up. He, and wraps his out. He has his arm around her and then she wants to go out to eat and they decide to go to the grill. I'm like, oh, they're yeah. going to get out of the house. They're going to, we're going to see them get out of the house. Yes. I was so excited. They weren't going to be we're in going the house. to a restaurant field trip. Yeah. We're yeah. <laughs> totally psyched about this. Right. You so know, we says, all know. We'll be here. We, sorry, we all know That's about right. his hunger, right? I mean, you know, he oh, right. can... Oh, right. He says he's always hungry. He can mm -hmm. man a bowl of spaghetti like no other. So, oh, yeah. I mean, let's I go out to the grill. Yeah. The grill. The diner, we're go to the wherever grill. we're going. It was called the grill. You got it. And they said, well, he said the movers are going to be there in 20 minutes. And I think she said, go to the grill. We'll be back in 20 minutes. I was like, where are they eating? But... I don't know what the grill is. Okay. Yeah, how are you going to get a meal and come back in 20 minutes? Like, is this takeout, like, grill? Uh, anyway. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like... So, oh, okay. I have something here. I, I did write, I'm actually excited. They're going to leave the house. And mm -hmm. then I see, we see a little booty. We see a booty. <laughs> Just a little booty there. <laughs> Just a little, a little something. He takes the plastic off the couch. Oh, my God. The where plastic. they were. Oh, my God. Does she make the comment about the plastic and he's like oh and he comes over yeah, and he's like, like holding it up. it up and then he... he rolls it yeah did we mention that he goes in the bathroom to wash himself? well that's what comes out i mm -hmm. have that after that oh that yeah, was after the, to, the food yeah Check to clean himself mm -hmm. and i think that was a very very normal typical yes for them mm -hmm. this was afterward he would always do this um she puts her underwear on that's what i wrote um he asks her to sign the papers then she says, well, she's going to take him home and look him over again. Mm -hmm. He takes the papers back out and he you says, can, get it over with. You can see the hesitation over mm -hmm. and over and over. Like, what is it? Because, like, for me, I was, like, trying to, like, figure out where she was coming from. And I think at the time in this part of the show or the um, episode, the episode, thank you. Mm -hmm. I felt like she was coming from a place of like I, I can't let go, like I'm just yeah. the reality is starting to set yeah, in. Like the I boxes thought. are packed. Like where are they moving? By the way, because nobody yeah. talks about where no, they're going. No, they don't. They don't. You know, just their play, her place, and his place, or whatever. Um, and so 
I think it was this, I'm not ready to let, I can't let go. You know, it's like a Mariah yeah. Carey song all over again. I just. Yep, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Just break so out into he song. Takes, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking oh. about. So he says to get it over with. She says, then he says, fine, go over it quietly home with Polly so mm. that you know, you know, you can make sure that I didn't screw you over. By the way, it's cool they're moving and they still have the Wi Fi hooked up because yeah. he did get on the computer and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. huh. Hasn't Usually been disconnected. at that point, we definitely did not. Like have he's Wi-Fi literally still leaving like tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, but they still have Wi Fi. <laughs> you know. Yeah, or they're hooking up fun. to the, you know, the neighbor's wife. Well, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, maybe. So then they start. Yeah, that's when he's looking at the wife. He's looking on the computer. Mm-hmm. And he's talking about um, owing. She the owes her for part the dance for the class. dance classes. Yes. And it's $2,500. I was like, oh, my God. I mean, I For twice a week. Bl- what are these private it, lessons? But it isn't a fifty two hundred. No, sorry, it's five thousand dollars. Oh, it's five grand, right? I think she How? owed twenty five hundred. Yeah, half. What well, is we this upped ballet? it? And he's like, we upped it to two to, 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 to jazz to, to jazz and, and ballet, ballet, right? <laughs> I'm thinking. I think we need to become ballet teachers. I'm thinking. <laughs> open up a ballet school. Five grand per student. I think. <laughs> For uh, what? How long yeah. is the season? Is she? Yeah, is she touring? I mean, what's going on? I mean, they're in Boston, here? but I mean, is yeah. this like the Boston like, metropolitan? I... <laughs> like, she's some like. <laughs> yeah. So um, that was wow. Mira was also pretty surprised how expensive it was. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was a little odd for her since yeah. know, she makes so much money. Right. She's right? this, you know, but money isn't an object to her. It's, yeah. Right. So that was very. Yeah, interesting that in was a little, I was like what little, is that all about little sign there mm-hmm. and he tells her uh she said she's like you need to cut it down once a week um <laughs> and he's like fine you need to tell her that she has to choose between ballet and jazz and she wants him to to tell her yeah he says yep. why can't you tell her yep. she's like you know i'm walking a delicate line with her and that she's and she's like fine you know i'm a failure as a mother um and then he says, oh, this, this one got me. This is the right, right? Remind me to tell her that her mother ran away mm-hmm. with some guy one day and now she has to choose between ballet and jazz. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, my gosh. Boom. And he, he says, I'm sorry. I know. I said I would never say that again. <sighs> so I don't think he talked about ballet and jazz before, but he clearly said mm-hmm. her mother ran, you know, ran away with somebody else. Right. It was noted that he's never said that in front of their daughter you know, right. this is he out of frustration, yeah. but you know, it, it, to be honest, like yeah. thinking about where he's coming from right now in this situation, it's yeah. like, oh God, he's... money's never been, now it's an issue Yeah, for our daughter. Like, so we're going to make yeah. her choose between one or the other. Like we agreed to, you know, it was just kind of. Right. Yeah. And I, at this point I made the note, I said, there, there's not going to be a, an out to dinner. There's not no, going to be a field definitely trip. Not going I already down knew there the wasn't going to be a field trip. I was a little no. bummed. Here we are stuck yeah. in the house with boxes. Yep. And yep crunchy cellophane i know <laughs> can't wait to see the kitchen though yeah all packed up and fresh all packed up no clutter <laughs> yep so much counter space <laughs> yeah <sighs> so then he asked her if she talks oh she she talks to her about it i guess mm, i guess mm-hmm. every like the divorce the separation right. and he says that's messed he said it actually a bad word but he says that's effed up and she says, that's when she, you know, we hear the title. That's, she says, they all grow up illiterate about it. Um, which I thought was an interesting choice of words. Yeah. Um, and then she says, maybe we should have prepared her. She said she thinks they should teach kids that love ends and relationships and people get divorced and it's part of life. But So maybe it wouldn't be so painful and all the sufferings. I know. I'm like. Did, did I like, were you thinking like what I was thinking? Sort of in that, like after, like we're gonna teach kids that love exactly. ends and like oh, like it's normal, like yeah, well, I don't mean it like that, but you know what I mean, right. like like we have to you teach fall them in love, like, you got to teach yeah. them, you fall in love, and then it ends, and you just do a divorce. It's no big deal. Just move on, you know, like why get married? What's the point if you're not, no? I know. You know like, listen, I understand that some marriages yes. end in divorce. I'm not, yes. you know, being. I'm just saying, like what is she it's like she's babbling on like why yeah. would you teach your 
child that. Tell that. I know. <laughs> no, you teach we're your married. child not oh, to get like, married. You're, and... Say you're married at the time. We're married now, but we but are going to probably, gonna we're going to end. It's and gonna then we're end just going to divorce. Just, just so you know. Suck it up. You'll be fine. You'll like, be fine. We have kids. You as long as we're honest with you. Can you imagine sitting with your child? Bonnie and Daddy. All relationships end. Just letting you know that just the love ends and then it's done. <laughs> We're just, you know, next step is divorce. <laughs> oh. I, know. I don't know. Uh, but again, yeah. we figure out later, right? We learn right. why yeah. this is coming out now. But anyway. Yes. Yes. And the, and so that, Donna, yeah, that was a, sorry, yeah. sorry, that was a pause for me. I was like hot. Yeah. Right <laughs> that was a pause for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So then Jonathan Jonathan says he thinks that the suffering is really the in between, not mm. the the ending, but the in between, which is where they have been for two years. He said it's harder than a breakup. It's much more traumatic for the kids and the parents. And this is how it is for him. Yeah, it's been a long process, right? She was yeah. five the last episode, essentially, and now Ava's seven. They mentioned, yeah, right. Yeah. So we know that a couple of years have gone by. So yeah. wow, yeah. Um. He said, let's get it over with. I cut. Okay. He said, I promise if you find something in the document Mm -hmm. that's mistakes, you know, mistaken, um, I won't contest it. He says, I'll even write something right now, guaranteeing her that. He says, I don't understand. Is it about the money or, you know, is it about money? And then right there, I knew. I knew. Here it comes. She got fired. I knew it. And she does tell him. She got fired. She was asked to resign. Mm -hmm. She said it was kind of obvious that something like this was going to happen because she never took the London job. So she's like blaming Mm -hmm. that. That's your fault Um, there. They didn't know what to do with her because she wouldn't, you know, she couldn't relocate or travel. She said she was no longer at his beck and call and she wanted to be home with her kid. And she said when she was across from him that his eyes were switched off and she was invisible. Oh, Ackerman. And she mentions her age of 43 and a half. She said she uh, Why are have... we going with the halves? I mean, we're not, I we're not I don't, seven yeah, I don't, I don't like and three quarters. I don't like birthdays at all. <laughs> yeah, no. You don't need to make me any older than the actual age. Like, I'm 39 and a half right now, right? But, like, I don't tell people I'm 39 and a half. You're not in a half well, yet. I, no, I guess not. Like, I'm two months. 39 and a quarter. <laughs> no. Anyway, I was laughing a little bit there because <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, 43 and a half. I know. Like, you're like not kid. going yeah. down to the Chuck E. Cheese for a birthday no. party in yeah, six months. Like, you're not I never six and a that. half. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't know why she did that. Then again, I love um, a good half birthday, so. Yeah. Anyway. Well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Some cake. So she said she used to have all this power over him. She could steer him in whatever direction she wanted to go, and now it's nothing. And she realized she should, she's lost that power over everything. Mm. The power that comes from being desirous. <sighs> desirous. Desirous. Um, Gotta say it like that. And she's disposable, I believe. Yeah. And then I wrote, interesting, she's wearing this oatmeal color Mm -hmm. outfit, which basically blends, really blends into her skin coat. There's no standing out. No. Yeah. So I thought that was, and she felt old. And hey, that, I hear you, girl. And uh, that is an issue for many women. Absolutely. Not like she's lost her looks at all or anything like that. No. But the older you get and... um, like the less relevant you feel or, mm-hmm. you know, especially if you're working in an environment where you're being compared or you're not as desirable um, as the if younger. You're like, yeah, if you're doing starting. sales or you're the face of it or whatever sure. it is. I don't, yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, um, that was hard. Sorry. Yeah, that was hard. Mm-hmm. I felt bad. And there's a hearing in two weeks and she's getting severance and stock options, but that it's, it's done. He mm-hmm. says it's hard. That's hard. It's he's sorry. It happened to her. Yeah. I don't know what she I was talking like about here, but I, no, she did not says, like, you're sorry that like, it happened. Yeah. Yeah. And said, you, you know, you don't need to be polite. He said, it's weird. He's listening to everything she's saying. And he said, it's wait, he said, it's weird. Gosh, I don't understand my notes. He said, it's not. You're right. Yes. He said if circumstances were different, he would be going crazy and he'd want to kill Ackerman. Mm -hmm. He said he doesn't feel anything listening to her. Mm -hmm. And she says, congratulations. (sighs) Yeah. And she says, oh, well, that's great because 
you were a half an hour ago you were yeah like you know you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they were very close yes they were indeed <laughs> very very close they were in deep yeah and, <laughs> and then he starts to go into that basically during their activity mm-hmm. he basically had no feelings for her mm. and he could do without ever mm. seeing her again and Ouch. he thinks i know he thinks that his extreme independence on her really paralyzed him and ruined them and he realized that the fear was not there anymore mm-hmm. and then he was free from her and she says i don't want to really hear this anymore and he says shut the f up mm-hmm. uh yeah i mean i have felt for him and i get if he feels this way, but bad timing, dude. Like she's just sitting there. Saying yeah, that not she, great timing. I don't know. You I know, mean, to, like, I know he, the, he has a lot of the work that you've done on yourself. Brain. Probably not the best timing. Not the best yeah. time when she says she's invisible, and then he says, "I feel nothing for you." Like basically, like and I'd be, it'd be great if I never saw you again. Like I'd be yeah. Why don't you just yeah. let her just melt into the floor at this point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fade into the into fade the into the, the wall, ivory the wall. wall. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And he says, who are you to say, like, when is the right time? Because she tells him to shut up or right. the wrong time to talk about this. And she's like, you just, oh, mm-hmm. you just, what we did to prove yourself and you don't love me, that you don't love me anymore. And he says, he's trying to talk to you. She calls him a narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I think he says, I've never had an inch of emotional space to share about my feelings. I think that was him. Mm-hmm. And then she references like psychobabble, which she said before in other episodes, yeah. like this psychobabble. Right. Um, and said she's going to scream. And he says she's better at screaming than actually communicating. Yeah. He's like, are you surprised they fired you? It's a miracle they've kept you as long as, as they have. And she gets up and screams, shut up. And she hates him. And, you know, also being with him, it was she hated being with him or something about Mm -hmm. being with him. And she says that, Oh, she starts to say, but he cuts her off actually, because you think just because you basically did that to me like that, That suddenly it makes you right. (laughs) Suddenly it makes you. And then she, she gets cut off. Gosh, I don't understand what I was trying to write here because I was doing voice to text, but she does say, Oh, she goes, I'm sorry. I forgot. I can't say the F word. Um, (laughs) And then she says, oh, yeah, I'm not allowed. You know, I was never allowed to say. And she. Oh, yeah. This is where we get into their bedroom. Yeah. The backstory. (laughs) Yeah. And she's like that he had to get up and take a shower because of the bodily fluids grossed him out. And um, that basically she felt like she wasn't a sexual person with him. Right. And on his side, it was more like it was a schedule, right? Mm-hmm. She t- she was the one who told him when they, right? yeah, if, yeah. He when they like were going to she... do it, where they were going to do it, or what they were yep. going to do, and all of this back, back and forth. So clearly, they weren't great communicators when it no. came to that type of stuff yeah. in the activity department. Um, yeah. And then he says, oh, I believed you, and I believed that I was hopelessly screwed up, <sighs> not um, realizing that everything she despised. Mm-hmm. that she despised him for everything and she hated that she hated about him oh he said that everything she hated about him that somebody would actually love him love for. him for those things right and yeah. love him for who he is and yeah the qualities right and then she says well whoever this is she's either lying or very inexperienced <laughs> <sighs> yeah this gets this is like ooh, this was wild to watch nasty i needed nasty. a few deep breaths Oh my gosh! Not gonna lie I know, on that. and I kept having to pause it, but I was like, oh. "Is this when they move into the kitchen?" I mean, let's see, because um, they're going back and forth, and then they go in the kitchen, and he like lights a cigarette. We're almost there, right? Not yet. Yeah, I, I definitely have when he lights the cigarette, mm-hmm. and they have the they have the drink. Yeah, we'll talk about oh, that. Yeah. Oh, he. <laughs> what does he say now? Uh, he's lost. I have a lot of notes here. I'm sorry. Oh, that she taught him and managed and scolded him. Yeah. She says the biggest mistake she ever made was getting together in the first place. 
<laughs> and he says, okay, here's the papers to sign. Right. He puts them down. Now they're in the kitchen, puts them yeah. down. Now, on the how many times the, the papers have come out? Uh, the papers. At this point, like the three papers. times, maybe, the papers, to sign the papers, the papers. And she won't sign the papers. Yeah. Did you ever see Goodfellas? No. I know. Okay. I'm so... There's a, there's a guy in there that goes, the yeah. papers, the papers. The pa- the papers. says everything twice. Anyway. Same. Johnny two times, I think mm-hmm. it's the same. I could be wrong. All right. So she flips through the papers, the papers, the papers. and says, and he says, you don't want to sign it. She right. says, I'm trying to skim it. And he says, you've read through it a hundred times. This you is in the kitchen. It. We're yes. in the kitchen now. Yes. You're in the kitchen. Oof. Yeah. Because the papers are on the island. And yep. she says, F off. He says. Like, you don't want to divorce me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this is about. But I'm trying to figure out, because this does always happen, if you already knew that before you got home today. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, it's pouring rain at this point. Of course. So I just feel like it really adds to the whole situation we're in here. It's very emotional. Um, he says, well, why can't you just say it? She says, I can't. And then she says she wants to come home. Yeah. She says, Sounds like she's done this like before, that. so he's not buying it. Yeah. Yeah. You could tell right off she's the bat, done, like, the... Mm-hmm. To bring you in and push you back and it's like mm-hmm. this attachment thing for her yeah yep she says don't look at me like that i know i'm just i know what this looks like and then she she says she calls herself pathetic he yeah. asks her how she's not ashamed she said she's never been more ashamed in her life and then he says okay if i said yes let's get back together <laughs> then what would you do with that what would you do with polly did you go back to mm-hmm. him and does he know you're here and then she says they broke up two weeks ago He's going to come back next week and they're going to tell Ava together that they broke up. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if he like likes that idea. Okay. So then, so what we find out is Polly really wanted to have children. Oh. I was like, are you? And they were trying. Me? I know. And then they were trying for like six months. And I'm months. going. I know. What? I know. Yeah. At first, I was All like, back to what? You, you had an abortion how many years mm-hmm. ago, and now you're trying for six months and doing IVF? Yeah. With well, she, they looked, yeah. They or looked in, worth going looked to, the doctor. right? Yes. Yeah. And I couldn't she go through with it. She said she kept delaying picking up the script. Mm-hmm. And Polly says, I don't want this. You don't want to have my, my kid. My kid, right. The guy who broke up your family. Right. Well, so they go to counseling. Yeah. Well, I mean,. <laughs> Yeah. Counseling asked if um, she could ever give up. Oh, the counselor asked yeah. if she could ever give up on him. Mm-hmm. Except that it wasn't over and she doesn't say anything and she right. doesn't answer her. So she realizes it's over. Yeah. Now it's yeah, Polly, really hard. Polly's definitely out. That's for sure. She lost her job. And Jonathan then is, you know, as she's pleading with him, she's like, I, I don't want to say... Th- I'm going to use the word desperate, but she was coming mm-hmm. from a place of like desperation, desperation. to get her point, right? And just yes. pleading with him, anything. Like, yeah. And he's just like, like yeah, you she, just got dumped says, and like, lost your job. Like, I know. She says, you probably think it's a manipulation. Do mm-hmm. what you want. She's like, I'm not trying to talk you into it. It would be different this time. We have so much more self-knowledge. He says, you don't want me. You get fired. You're dumped. You know, that whole mm-hmm. thing. And then he says, I don't have feelings for you anymore. Yeah. I'm sober. <sighs> I thought that was so interesting. And then he's like, I'm inoculated. That's it. And she says, take a second to think about it. I mean, she just, I'm like, oh, my God. What is this? Take a second to think about it. Are you listening to what is half coming out of his mouth? Like, Oh, my God. And then he's, he's like, I throw away all that I worked for mm. these two years. And he said, do you know that I prayed to God he <sighs> said, that she would come back, you know, that you would come back to me. I'm like, oh, almost my God. in tears. I know. And then um, he says, you got me to pray again. Mm. Then he busts out the pineapple vodka, which oh my I, gosh. I was <laughs> like, I thought it was funny. He goes, it's revolting. I don't know who brought that here. I don't know I'm just thinking, like, really did funny. you, did you hanging on to this from like a, an 11th grade party in your back? <laughs> like, who is, who is I bet Pete brought like it. That's something. Peach. No, oh, this would be a Pete. Pete. Thing. Yeah, Pete next to the peach schnapps. He's regifting peach schnapps. <laughs> peach schnapps. Sneak pineapple it. vodka. In the so he says it's lazy revolting. Susan. You know, <laughs> the turn around cabinet. Anyway, <laughs> so hidden in the back with the dust. All right, I'm moving yeah, on. Go ahead. So then she says she could take it because, like, he's because she mm. said she wants some. And he's like, it's revolting. 
She even has a second glass. Oh, in yeah. It. Just... He lights the cig on the. Oh, yeah. On right the, in uh, the gas the... stove. That's so hot, yep. right? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, you should be happy for me. Rid of this debuck, debuck. Dibbuk, dibbuk. I looked that up. <laughs> it's a malicious, possessing spirit of a dislocated soul of a how, dead person in the Jewish that? religion. Yeah. I, I was like, is he going to say what it, it means? And then I had to Google it, of course. And yeah, it's spelled very interesting too. D-Y-B-B-U-K, just to let you know. So he says, I know you're going to be happy too. Now, new chapter, a whole new life. Wasn't she saying these same words to him? In the second episode, second? basically trying to convince him that they need, you know, to to separate. Mm-hmm. And I thought she was spewing out almost the exact same words. So I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. He says, she says she has zero interest in a new life, any motivation. She said all she wants is what she used to have. But I don't want anything is new. It, is it the comfort thing, right? Like, is it the, like, I know you're going to give in. And this is comfortable to me and like, I want to be, or is it the, is it coming from the place of I failed now? And I realize that like, you wonder, like, I'm not sure. Yeah. I... She can't, um, exist without, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I was, someone... I was struggling with this a little bit mm-hmm. to try to figure mm-hmm. out like really what was underneath all of that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just this fear of of being alone okay. completely. Yeah. Being alone. Not alone. And... I mean, you have a daughter to raise. Like, that's the most important right. job that you have. Um, but there was no emphasis really on that per se. Right. It was more of yeah. this starting over. And well, why do you start? Like, what do you need to start? Like, just focus on your kid who's yeah. taking $5,000 worth of <laughs> ballet. ballet for crying out loud. Let's, let's invest in that. Good grief. Um, go, go, go down she, and volunteer. Get that bill cut down, will you? Get the volunteer yeah, hours down yeah, at the yeah. academy. <laughs> <laughs> so he, she, I think she goes in for the hug. Mm-hmm. and sa- He says he has the urge to say F it and rip up the papers, he says, but he has to fight it. And then she says, we can find our way back. He, I think he says it's a mirage. Mm. He says, okay, we get back, basically we get back together after the excitement passes. <laughs> what are we, what do, what do we do? We can't live in the same house. Mm-hmm. And then I think she says, trust my instinct. He gets a text. The movers are running late. Yeah. And then Veronica calls. And I guess that's the person watching. That's Ava, what the babysitter. Yeah. Still worried. She's worried about the box. Oh, and then she's thing. trying to like hash out with Ava. no. You were with daddy tomorrow. You're with me today. And then she's like, remember, it's every other Tuesday. You can look at your chart. And I was like, oh, my can God. I just tell you something? What? When he, when Jonathan, when she's doing that on the cat, right? When talking and sitting mm-hmm. there and like, you know, she's got her head down and the whole thing. Yeah. Talking to her about the schedule and everything. He comes in and kind of like leans on the doorway. Oh, I did you I see, that. see that? And he watched her and listened. Did you okay. m- catch that? Okay, because immediately I was like, "Oh my god, he's gonna give in. He's giving oh. in because I screamed it. Okay. It's gonna cut. It, he's gonna give in because of his mm-hmm. daughter. He wants to do what's best for his daughter. For so the he's daughter. gonna. Yeah. That the the, the body language right there it was yes, saying I to me. I do remember him looking like, at her, and I felt like he felt badly. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is yep. what we're doing. Like forget about them <laughs> for a second. Can we? I know this is scenes from a marriage. Yeah. Yeah. But do you know what you're doing to your child? Right now? I know like, this poor with, girl. Oh, this poor thing. And I and I love that they're not inf- like okay. She's part of the story, but it's not the emphasis, but it really there sh- should be more of like what that does to a kid. I don't know. Maybe right. but that's not what the show's right. about. But so. the show is about the marriage. Yeah. That's a that's yeah, another that's podcast. Um Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anyway, but to me, I was in that moment, I was like, oh, this is it. Because he's going to see, gonna like, give in. what are we doing to our poor mm-hmm. daughter? And where mm-hmm. are we, mo- like, what are we doing? Like, the move and, like, I'm leaving he's getting, yeah. for this. And mm-hmm. she's in crisis. Poor yeah. thing. Doesn't, you know, yeah. doesn't know. She just wants her doll marked fragile or important or whatever the box said. Yeah. She really wants oh, to make sure that doll so gets good for her. I know. So Mira curls up. On the couch, and I would say sobs. Yeah, she's like in the fetal position. Yep, yep. 
He tells her to go home, forget about the settlement for now. Gives her uh, a bottle of water, right? Yes. Yeah. Gives her a bottle of water. Because that'll sober she you up after it. the yep. 12 shots of vodka. Of pineapple vodka. <laughs> Ooh. And then he talks about, he thought he might want it. He might have wanted to have another child. Oh, yeah. I forgot. How did I forget this part? Is that, does she ask him, is, is that when she asks him why he wants the divorce? I can't remember why he wants it done then. But it, so, oh, yeah, there that was might like, be why I didn't make that note for some reason. But I know she says, well, why do you need it done mm-hmm. like today, tonight? Mm-hmm. So he says he might, might have wanted to have another child. He said that basically he's realized that that brings the most joy in his life. Yeah. And in, in therapy, he realized that the kid, the child, his child is more mm-hmm. important than a partner. Um, he was having lunch with with Celia Patterson. That's his colleague. Yep. She just broke up with her girlfriend. And she wants to have a child and they kind of talked about elective, I think it's called elective Mm -hmm. co-parenting. But he wouldn't want to go into a situation like that. He would want to be divorced if he went into some sort of situation like that. And then she says, well, did it occur to you to have a baby with me? I was like, again, I'm like, what? You could have had a baby. I know. You had a couple and like, wow. That was, she goes into this weird jealousy that, it goes back and forth. Like yeah. he doesn't want her, so she gets upset. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, she, mm-hmm. yeah. She there's doesn't, there's some it's... some underlying things happening for her for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but they and, do talk about the abortion though. Quick, yes, like it's mentioned. Um, and then she says it never occurred to him <laughs> that she would want to. And she says now she says she would. She didn't. She's like didn't think that their marriage could survive another kid. Jokes on me. Ha ha. She says that. I know. Like that's yeah. really not funny. I know. But it's okay. terrible. No, okay. no. He says we're not young anymore. She says I'm not young anymore. Which mm. I was like, mm. um, the old Jerry. He said, oh, he's pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I had one I of those. Had, I had a geriatric. After pregnancy. thirty-five, it's geriatric. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. Need to change um, that anyway. And he says that you know we could undo that. He realized he could undo this paradigm that we're having a kid. He was mm-hmm. bound to have a romantic. You don't mm-hmm. have to have a, mm-hmm. a romantic partner to have a child, basically. Mm-hmm. And she gets. So mad. She's like, oh, yeah, you can have a kid and keep effing around and you're an egocentric a-hole. But the like, thing is, I don't think he's interested in effing around. I really no, don't. Like, I he's don't not. Either. Listen, I don't know what's to come in the last episode, you yeah. know, which is next for us. But mm-hmm. he does, he's not like, this isn't um, Magic Mike. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just don't picture him like going bar to bar. Like, no, 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 he's no, lecturing no. and meeting he's people at a coffee shop. Like he's not. That's right. You know, and yeah. spending time with Ava, hanging out and yeah. whatever. Like he's not yeah. like search anyway. No, <laughs> I can't believe we're actually almost done with the episode. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's, this is gonna I know it over. was so, a long one. It felt, but anyway, I kept pausing it too fast. Maybe he starts to leave. Oh, this part. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. And she's not letting him. Nope. She doesn't want it to end like this. She locks him in with, she locks him in yeah, with the key. How do you, I'm sorry. I don't how know. How does that even. I don't know. Because I was like, how did she how do you lock, lock the door? The, it, like, the, yeah. to, mm-hmm. and what happens on the sh- outside then? Do you. <laughs> <laughs> Very confusing. Anyway. Um, I did think about that for a while, actually. <laughs> how do you lock yeah. somebody in? With in. The key in, but not out. Like, what do I you think? Some think? older homes have. I, I yeah, know. but again, what happens on the other weird. side of the lock? No. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Not coming in. Um. So they they're struggling because he's really trying to get that yes, key from her. He just she wants to go. Pocket, and she's looking at him almost like a little kid. Oh God! So then she pushes him away, mm-hmm. starts slapping him in the head. Mm-hmm. I can't. I cannot take. There are so many things I could watch. I don't know what it is about the raw slap or punch really bothers me mm-hmm. in movies. I swear I could tolerate someone getting shot. I don't know why. Oh, I don't wow. know what it is. I don't know what it is about that. That was hard to watch. Um, oh, it was. Then it felt like it was forever. Pushing, 
I felt like it was forever. I also kept pausing it because I was wanted to make sure what I got. And I'm sitting next to my son who's not seeing it. And I go, oh. And he's like, what's the matter? I said, um, nothing. I was like, he, she just hit him. So oh. he didn't really seemed to care. Um, she pushes his face with her hand like a little, like, like she was like that an NBA superstar, and yeah, he was like, like a, a little. Oh, that is the toddler. worst. Like that's something my sisters would have done to me as like a kid. Like get out of here! Like out they would have yeah. shoved their hand on my oh. face. Oh, then he slaps her and mm. pushes her, and he definitely looks like he's like, yeah, I'm done. She pushes him. He hits his head. Oh, God. she's like I throwing mean, things from the like a vase or like a book or something. Oh, she, at him. like a, like I think it was a, I think it was box. a box of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, I mean, I did not like that. Let me get that straight. That he didn't. That he slapped her no, and then he no, pushed no, her. No, no. And then she pushes. Yeah, he bangs his head. She, and she just starts throwing books at him. I was yeah. like, oh my god. And yeah, a vase or a, like a to go cup. I don't know what that was. By the way, he has on Nike sneakers that are gray with a white swish mm-hmm. on it. You know the swish. They did look cute. I, I know. was. I, I was surprised those. that he took it there. He didn't. Yeah, he, did. he had fought back before. You mean right? Where he yeah. like the packing the suitcase and he kind of like put oh yeah like puts yeah. her in her, I don't know how to describe it, it was a push well, or whatever it he was he might have been like, scared at that point because hmm? he he might have been scared mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. because he banged his head yeah and then she just was throwing books and he just was covering himself like he couldn't I don't even think he yeah could get it was up. almost like so the start of her like scared. get go like get go yeah but I was like yeah, oh yeah. no don't don't no yeah I'm like don't oh, hit her. her don't hurt yeah. her don't touch I her what I are think you doing? though he I think he felt because she was not letting him. you mean earlier like the, before he fell she was in a complete yeah. outburst like not even yeah rational hit, right like. Mm-hmm. When you're at your angriest, you're at your stupidest, yep. right? So think about the iceberg care, right? I'm not going to get too psychological, but, you know, <laughs> this is that scene. She's not thinking. Yeah. Nobody's thinking no. in this no. situation. Yeah. It happens no. fast. And I was like, oh, no, don't hit her. Don't do that. Don't do that. So I, he gets I, up. I anyway, it yeah, was no, hard it was to terrible. Watch. It was terrible. terrible. They basically, like, they beat the poop out of each other, like, so to speak. pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So he gets up to clean up. You hear him like, I think he runs from water. She grabs the envelope, dumps the papers out. He comes back. They sign the papers. I don't know where she got then the he, pen. Was it clipped? The pen the was in the envelope. Oh, okay. It was in there was earlier. Like, oh, I, noticed that. I was like, oh, that's pen? smart. You just throw the pen. Yeah, you throw the pen in the envelope. <laughs> you can't say I don't have a pen. Mm-hmm. Um, he says to her before he walks out, should have done that a long time ago. Yeah. Now, I feel like he was mentioning a couple things, mm-hmm. like, okay, the, were we talking about, other? I'm not sure. like, <laughs> like, hitting each other, like, we should, or like, signing the papers, that. or both, like, I that's what not, I was wondering, but I hope it was more about the divorce, like, you should have just signed them a long time ago, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hoping it was that, not the other thing, yeah. but, um, we'll never know, probably, but yeah, that was yeah. a very choice phrase, yeah, to leave so then, with. He goes in the car, That's which is it. interesting because this the scene, the scene, the episode started with her in the car, although, it was, yeah. you know, um, excuse me. So he goes in his car the and he's just kind of looking out. The, he looks at his cuts in the mirror and stuff. And then uh, the movers pull up and he watches through the window mm-hmm. and he pulls away. That's it. And then they show the house being empty. Yeah. I like so anxious to watch yeah episode five episode five the last one and and hop on and talk about it because um how is this gonna close like how are we gonna get like the beginning middle and and i hope we get some closure please give us i really hope so because especially because it is one this is it this is scenes from a marriage (laughs) it's a project it's a one season project right so yeah yeah that's the focus here um yeah (sighs) yeah wow anyway all right that was you know just like i said i think week after week it's you think the first one is like wow that was a lot and the second one you're like that's more intense same thing it's building it's like so like i need breaks yeah i need a water break in between i need to pause the (laughs) show and just take a deep breath and regulate my emotions i have to tell you a funny comment i saw on like a facebook thread the person was like, if you're really happy 
like in a good mood and you don't want to be, just watch scenes from a marriage. Oh, it'll <laughs> it's make like you because, miserable. It was so funny. It'll yeah, make it you miserable. So funny. And it's interesting because people are like, I don't know how, if I love, if I really like the show, mm-hmm. but I respect it. Like it's definitely an interesting. It's yeah. Yeah. It's definitely. Good to, it's fun to talk about. It is. There's a lot. Yeah. 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 And it's so real. Like yeah. they, it's not. The script no. is just so. No. I I don't yeah. know. I I love yeah. that it's all in the hat. Like I would like to them to go on a field trip. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but the fact that it's no, yeah, it's in the house. It's so narrow of just yeah. It's wow. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Okay. Listen, so we haven't gotten any emails yet. You know, yeah, I'm let's for that. get some emails going here. I know we've had some people reach thoughts. out with their comments via text that know us, etc. Too, but. For the broader audience, um, yeah. let us know. Give us a shout yeah. via email what your thoughts have been um, through watching this. We'd love to hear and share that on our next yeah. podcast. So, yeah, homebodiesonly at gmail.com. You got it. All one word. All right, everybody. Can't wait for episode five. Bye. Bye-bye.